Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and look what I got in the mail. This is the HTV Ront Tumblr Heat Press. It is brand new out. I don't even think it's in the stores yet or online. Um, I'm filming this a little early, but I'm so excited to try it. So I wanted to go over a few things with you. Um, in the box, you do get some heat protective tape to get you started. You also get a pair of heat resistant gloves. Those are important. This is hot in here. If you can see, I have this set on 375 degrees. This is hot in there. Um, on the top, very simple. You have your power button. You turn it on. It bleeps up. I believe it saves your last temperature and things that you did. If you push that button here with the thermostat, or the thermometer, you can change your temperature. If you press this one, you can change how many seconds you're pressing for. Now, the cool thing is this is equal pressure all the way around. You don't have to turn your product as long as it fits and the door closes all the way. So I'm going to show you real quick how I do it. Mind you, I am so brand new to this whole process. I don't even have a sublimation printer. I went on to Etsy and I ordered some of these designs and had them shipped to me. So I don't have the full wrap just to be on, just so you know. I did clean my glass with rubbing alcohol just because. And I do know you want this pretty tight up against. But again, since you're not moving this around in your press, I don't know how important this one step I mean, you definitely want it secure, but I don't feel like, oh, I got a cat fur in there. Like you need it super much because you're not, you're not moving this once it's in the machine, right? It's just going in the one time. So you can see here my design because this is the glass. Oh, cat fur. You slide her in. I try to get it into the center and you hit start. Because that is green, that is telling us that it's ready to go. So while it's doing its thing, I'm going to talk you through a few items that I used. Obviously, you need scissors for your tape or if you have a tape dispenser. One of these um, hooks is easy to get your tape off if you want. I keep a <clears throat> pot holder handy. When they come out, they are hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in this catalog that comes with it are your directions tells you all about your maintenance, what each button does. There's some places where you can set like a memory mode. So you can tell it like, hey, this is a glass tumbler or this is whatever. Your power and their emergency stop. But what I love right here is your quick reference chart. It's telling you your steel tumbler, your ceramic tumbler, I use that for mugs, and your glass tumbler, what your temperature range should be in Fahrenheit and Celsius and how much time. This is invaluable to me as a new person doing sublimation. I also got some HTV Ron. This is the glass that came and it kind of goes over all your instructions. This was in the box of cups, not in with the machine itself. Um, it took a few tries for me, but I was able to get the mug. It feels kind of blurry on the mug. So I'm clearly needing some practice, but again, I'm super new to this. And I would say I didn't have it tight enough, if I had to guess, on the mug. That's okay. I'm new to this. I'm going to get a sublimation printer. This that I have in here will come out looking like this. So I think it needs more color. This is all about my choice and not about the product. I didn't, I wanted my logo, but I think I needed to do a complete wrap of color and not just a logo. But again, I'm learning but it works well. The gloves are great. The little dots are sticky. So when this tells me it's time and I put these on, oh, there's a string in there. Um, either hand, so they're changeable, but they're grippy. So when I go to pick up my hot glass, it's not gonna slip out of my hand, which is nice. I might just leave this on. Um, they will be available on their website and on Amazon.com. And there's going to be a link in the description box below in my um, 
of this video, letting you also know where you can get it. I And I love their products. I have the shirt press, so I really do need to invest in a sublimation printer so I can make good stuff. These make great gifts. These are the HTV Ronk cups. They come in a box for like gifting or resale. And they're nice quality. They do come with the straw and a straw cleaner. These were sent to me, as was the press. All right, so let's speed this up. All right. When the timer gets to zero, it opens it up all on its own. And then you pull it out like that. I'm going to let this cool. It is very hot. I'll be back when it's cooled off and we will show you what it looks like. All right, the cup is done. I don't think you can see it so great. So let me stick this cloth in here and hope that that helps. There you go. So it definitely gives it, you're going to see some like residue from the tape. I just used some goo gone and took that off, but it works out well. I stick some tissue in mine when I'm going to be taking it somewhere, giving it away. And it works perfectly, guys. I am loving this. Definitely get your hands on this if you want to do any type of sublimation um, on cups, tumblers. I think it holds the wine glass. It definitely holds coffee cups. Not a problem. I think the 15 ounces would be a little tight in here, but these mugs fit perfectly fine. These are from HTV Ron. I know that I saw somebody else put the 16 ounce or the 26 ounce water tumbler, not the big ones, but the water size and the 20 ounce skinnies fit in here, no problem. So I hope you enjoy and you go out and get yourself a heat press as well. Have a good one. Bye.